Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In this module, I'll show you how to install Visual Studio 2019. So first, let's download Visual Studio 2019. So what I'll do is I'll search for Visual Studio 2019 download. So I'll copy this, right click on this copy, and I'll search in, search in the browser. So let's go to the browser, and you can see here I searched for Visual Studio 2019 download, and the first one that I got is visualstudio.com, visualstudio.microsoft.com, slash downloads. Let me open this. Now we can see here we have three versions of 2019, Community Edition, Professional Edition, and Enterprise Edition. So the steps that we need to install any of the three versions remain the same. So what we'll do is we'll download the Community Edition. Let me click on this free download of this. So I'm just now clicking on free download for Community Edition, and the steps remain the same for all these three. Let me click on the download. Now it'll take um, a couple of uh, seconds. Now you can see here the download started and let's go to the downloads folder. So what I'll do now is click on this and show in folder. Now you can see here I'm in downloads folder in my computer. So right click on this and run as administrator and it'll ask me do you want to make changes for the computer? Click on yes and now it'll, it is installing the installer. Now it's asking do you uh, want to click on continue? Yes and it'll take around uh, 10 to 15 seconds to open the installer. Now let's see this. Now you can see here it, it's just installing the installer software. So this is not actual Visual Studio. This is the installer for Visual Studio. Now it's saying it's almost done for installing the installer. Now, now let's see this. Now once the software installation of this installer is done, it will open a big pop-up from where you can select the components that are required. Let's see this. Now you can see here, so it just opened a big pop-up from where you can, um, you can actually select the components that you need. Now, 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 now these are the components that you can select depending on the development that you are doing. So for example, if you want to develop ASP.NET web applications, you have to select this. And if you want to uh, select C Sharp console applications or Windows Forms or um, um, WPF applications, you need to select this. So normally if you want to learn C Sharp, this is the one that you need to download and install. So let me click on this. So I just checked on this ASP.NET and web development. I checked on uh, .NET desktop development and uh, let's take, uh, let's scroll down a little bit. In case if you are interested in Azure development using Visual Studio, you need to select this checkbox. And these steps will remain more or less same like how you have installed 2017. The same steps will remain for Visual Studio 2019 as well. Almost same. Now if you are interested in mobile development, you have to select this. And for now, uh, I need .NET Core class, uh, cross platform development. Let me click on this. So depending on my requirement, I have selected these. Depending on your development requirement, you have to select the components. And you can see here the size is uh, showing as total space required is 7.74 GB. And let me click on install. Now it'll take time. And um, depending on your internet speed, it may take around. Now it's showing start after installation and let me uncheck this. Now depending on your internet speed it may take around half an hour to uh, one hour and you can notice here that download is done and it's also done with installing. It's almost like uh, finishing up 100% done and And now you can see that I got a message saying like installation succeeded. And so I'm done with installing Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. The same steps will remain for other versions of Visual Studio 2019 as well. So now what I'll do is I'll just open Visual Studio 2019. I can click on this, uh, I can click on this launch button. Or what I can do is I can click on start and I can, I can select here Visual Studio 2019. So let's see here where is Visual Studio 2019. So let's go to Visual Studio 2019 and uh, let me select this. Now that will launch Visual Studio 2019 for me. So for the first time, it may take um, 10 to 15 seconds to launch. 
And now I'll close this uh, installation pop-up. Now I just opened Visual Studio 2019, you can see here, and it's asking me to sign in. So if you sign in, the Visual Studio Community Edition will remind, uh, it is actually a free version from Microsoft. And uh, let me just sign into Visual Studio. Now let me click on sign in. So all you need is you need a Hotmail account or Microsoft account. Uh, you can create it for free. So now, in case if you don't have Hotmail account or Outlook account, you can create it from Microsoft website, hotmail.com. You can create an account. Now what I'll do is I have a Microsoft Hotmail account and let me, uh, let me sign into this. You can sign in using your Hotmail account. If you don't have, you can create one. Now it's asking me to enter the password. Let me click on this. So once you sign in, um, if you don't sign in right, it'll be free only for 30 days. So once you sign in, it'll be free for a lifetime and um, you can use it for learning purpose. And uh, you can see the terms from Microsoft. Now it's showing we are preparing for the first time use. Okay, so now you can see here, just popped up uh, Visual Studio 2019, and uh, you can see here, open a project, create a new project. And uh, so I can click on this, create a new project. Let me click on this. I just clicked on create a new project. And I can select here which version I need. I need uh, ASP, um, .NET Framework. So you can see here, console application .NET Core and C Sharp and ASP.NET Core application. So there are different applications that we have here. So I need, uh, uh, let's, say, let's say I want to create a simple Hello World application. So I need console application .NET Framework. So you can see here, when I scroll down a little bit, so this is showing as VB. So I don't need VB, right? So let me select here language. So I need um, uh, C Sharp as a language. So I can click on this. Now the moment I select C Sharp, all these applications will be filtered and platform, I can select Windows platform, and uh, project type, I can select here console application. So I just want to create a simple Hello World application. So see here guys, I selected language as C Sharp, I selected platform as Windows, and I selected project type as console application. And, and uh, I can see two options here, and let me select console application .NET framework and click on next. Now it's asking me to give the project name. So I'll give here project one. And I'm fine with the path. I don't want to change it right now. So I gave the project one and .NET Framework, click on create. So the look and feel for this creating new project is a little different when compared to 2017 community edition. So the look and feel is different here uh, for creating a new project. Now I'm creating a simple console application .NET Framework project. So this is the one that we normally create for learning C Sharp. Now it's just opening Visual Studio. So here you go. So I just see uh, how to create a simple project here. And let me write here, I just increase the font size. Let me write here console dot. So console dot, you can see there, right line. And I'll write here, hello world. And I'll just put here console dot read line. And that's it, we are done with a simple application and let me run the code and we'll see the output, hello world. So, so we just installed Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition and I created a simple console application using .NET Framework and I just executed it and also I signed in using my Microsoft account, Hotmail account. So here we go, you can see the output. Hello world will appear now. And you can see this hello world, right? So these are the steps to install Visual Studio. Now let me stop the project and, and I'll show you, um, this is regist to, registered, see here, about help, about Microsoft Visual Studio. And you can see here license terms. 
and okay that will open the terms let me click on the license status let me close this license status you can see here uh, it's showing us 30 day trial for evaluation purpose only or evaluation so check for updated license so let me click on this so if you don't sign in that's the default 30 day trial and uh, I'm just, I just clicked on check for an updated license Now you can see here it's showing it's not showing any 30 days duration so it's showing us license visual studio community the product is licensed to and we have updated the license successfully so it's not going to expire after 30 days I can still use it for learning purpose and um, so these are the steps to install now let me close this you can close this uh, close solution or you can see here now now again it, it, it just went back to let me close this and here file new File new project and again it's opening the same pop-up again you have to select the same steps that you need so language C sharp platform um, you can select Windows or you can select here Mac or whatever platform all platforms and project type console and you can select console application dot and framework and click on next okay so that's all for now and thanks for, I hope you you'll um, this video will guide you to install um, Visual Studio 2019 successfully Thank you. This is Meghnath.